Now it says recording in progress. Who knows? Have I been going for 20 seconds? Have I not? Is it going to die like it's died the past at least seven times? No lie, I have seven videos with today's date on them. The last one, not only did it spectacularly crash, but it blue screened the whole laptop. So, I don't know. Bad mojo, man. Can I blame the Vikings? I didn't realize it at the time I'm wearing purple today, but it's got nothing to do with the Vikings or the Vikings Stadium. All right. It is Tuesday. <laughs> I think it's still Tuesday. Good God, it's 746. Have I been farting around on the computer that long? Mm, yes and no. One, I, I showed up late to the leave late. Kim was working until 10, so I knew that there wouldn't be much fun tonight till pretty late. So, But yes, I have literally wasted an hour, probably about, trying to make this camera work for longer than 10 seconds without it spontaneously combusting, removing itself from the USB chain, or downing the computer in the process. Something about DPCs. And you know anything about those? No, me neither. And you know how long it takes a Windows laptop to reboot? And the air turns off at 6.30, so like... Up to 80 minutes without any air? That's no good. Currently it's 57 outside. It's been hit or miss all day. Mostly miss here in Roseville, but apparently it rained enough downtown to postpone the Twins game. Oh, it's going to work. No, it's not. What I'm trying to do is pull up all of the posts I got from yesterday's comments, mostly about party mix. All you have to do is talk about off-brand uh, snack foods, and people will rush to respond. I did eat the whole thing. I wasn't going to, but it's only 10 ounces, it turns out. This, this is a deceptively sized package that's no bigger than any other of those kind of dorito -y bags. In fact, I think it's less. Remember when Doritos were a pound? Then they were like 14 ounces, and they were 12 ounces, and now they're like 10 and 3 quarters ounces, I think. But these cheese curls, they didn't even have that off taste. They had the taste of all the other ingredients. Maybe not pretzels, but sesame sticks and rye crisps. So they, it was good, man. I, I couldn't have just one, and I couldn't stop. And I didn't stop. And that's why. <laughs> I'm burping now. Mmm. And it's a savory burp. Stay hydrated, everybody. Now, if I try really hard, I'll be able to find your thoughts on these matters. Cerebus was first. I like the CVS Cheesy Puffs better than the Cheetos Puffs. Good to know. I have access to CVS. I also prefer store-brand tortilla chips to name-brand tortilla chips when I make nachos. Now, I'm not with you there. My favorite ones are the ones in the paper bag where you get like a pound and a half of them for three bucks. And I can't remember the name of them now, but they are a brand name. But they're astonishingly much cheaper than even the store brand, much less the Frito-Lay Tostitos deals. What was your reason for not mowing the lawn today? I will have you know, I mowed the lawn last night, finally. Thank goodness. And it's a good thing I did, because I filled up not one, but two of those 30-gallon bags. I'm sorry. Yes, 30-gallon bags with lawn clippings. And then... I immediately emptied one of those two bags into the compost. So, and in retrospect, I would have been a little more careful. But I ended up putting the whole thing in there, which really made it a pain when it came to trying to sift it in with the stuff that was already in there to turn it over. Yeah. But I worried that I inhaled something because my throat started hurting and then kind of kept hurting. It didn't hurt as much now, but I've had to had to actually go to the licorice tea this morning. So. Keep an eye out on my wellness. Have you considered buying a mulching blade for the mower instead of bags? It does mulch, but because this was the first time I'd mowed the lawn, and there were actually still a couple of leaves on it from last year, there was stuff I didn't really want to go out in the mulch. So I really wanted to get a clean, good clean cut, and then we'll worry about mulching the next time, the next couple times, probably. It actually looks surprisingly well. All the bare spots I thought were there have been kind of filled in with all the recent growth, so it's up to me to try to kill it again, I think. But the lawn is over for now. Huge weight lifted off my shoulders, and of course it rained overnight, and it rained quite heavily, so it was good that I got it out of the way because 
Again, we're going to do one of those irregular patterns of mostly rain, I think, for the next week or so. Okay. On to Pie Man. I enjoy the off-brand Ripple chips at our local supermar supermarket better than the Lay's brand. So you're not alone in your off-brand junk food preferences. I like... I like those two. I like the rippled ones. I also like the more ruffles-like ones rather than the wavy lays ones. I think you're talking about kind of like the wavy lays, but I like the their fake ruffles. Hey, you remember Runkles? That great fake brand in someone else's ad? Runkles. It was just fun to say. Maybe just me. Doug will be mocking all of us with his healthful ways, but it took him 50 years to figure it out. Oh, so I guess I still got time. I'm right there, buddy. Yes, Pie Man and Doug, sitting on the porch, talking about being old. James says, Hawkins Cheesies are uniquely Canadian and far superior to Cheetos. Well, doubtful. I'll mail you some if you promise to sample them on the YouTubes. Well, of course. Where else would I sample them? It's no good if you send me something and you don't get to see me react to it. So, yeah. Hawkins Cheesies. During my one trip to Canada, I don't remember seeing those, but I was just like a like a laser focused on making sure I got some coffee crisp, which is good, by the way, that I didn't worry about other things. Although I do remember seeing the ketchup potato chips, which we hardly ever see down here in the States. To Doug, sorry I didn't get to watch yesterday. I thank you for the birthday greetings both here and on Twitter. Well, you know, it's a significant birthday. Don't expect that every year. Love the playoff beard. That's a coincidence. I forgot to shave, and then I realized the Rangers were still in it. And then the Rangers actually won last night. Oh, man. Did you see that? I know Raw was on, but I, I saw the last minute, and I saw Empty Net, and I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this and see how it turns out. And it was awesome. Came back from one down. And then they sort of scored so quickly in overtime, I didn't even get a chance to switch from Raw to see that. But it was all good. The Rangers won. They stay alive. Uh, as does this beard, this iteration of the beard for a while longer. Hoping that by the time the playoffs are over, I resemble Bigfoot or a Yeti. Or a Yeti. Yeti. A Yeti. My face will be so hairy. I don't know. It's spotty. Plus, you can hardly tell this. This part's gray, so you can't really see it. My horse in the derby came in last. At the last minute, I picked Gemologist, who I think finished 15th or something. So, yeah, now we're talking about. My fantasy NASCAR team this year should be called Start and Park. I'm getting killed by Pie Man. Ha, you losers. Fantasy NASCAR. Hope you survived the cardio lawn mowing. I did. I used a real, a real mower, R-E-E-L, because the kids don't want engines disturbing the birdhouses. Really? Can't you convince them that that's not the case? Oh, they don't care. They're very resilient. I know there were a damn lot of birds around my house last night. The house next door that I used to live in has a lot of nooks and crannies, and birds are building nests in them, and my old landlord doesn't mind at all. So there's a lot of jockeying for position and uh, pecking orders being established. Not literally, but yeah. Mike, question time to get your cloud score back up before bed. My cloud score is raised by retweets and likes and plus ones and not questions, but I do thank you for the questions. Do you listen to any podcasts? I don't. I don't have time. There's a good friend of mine who does a comedy podcast, and it wins awards, and it's wonderful, and I haven't heard an episode in zillions of years. But if you're looking for something to listen to, T-E-K-D-I-F-F, -F, Tech Diff, Technical Difficulties, is the podcast that I would recommend. What do you use for an RSS reader? Uh, would you believe I don't use an RSS reader? I guess to get my news, I, I use Twitter kind of as an RSS reader, I guess. I don't know. Um... You could ask Kim. She uses two or three. What's the dumbest political fundraiser you've seen this year? I'd go for get your name and tiny print on a NASCAR car. That wasn't Blake Cook's deal, was it? I thought that was pretty slick. I think that's different from Blake Cook's deal. His got rejected by ESPN for being too advocate-like, which was weird because the site was nonpartisan. It just wanted you to register, although they did link to some other sites that were very, what do we want to say, anti-baby killing. But, yeah, poor Blake. I like Blake Cook. But, again, he's one of those guys you're never going to hear about because on ESPN they don't care unless unless your name is Pastrana or uh, Patrick. 
What do you use to pull your hair back? My hands. Haven't you ever watched this, uh, these deals? Uh, I use a trucker cap, and I stick it out the back. If not a hair tie, do you exclusively use Spoon CA products? Hey, who told you that? Uh, I do. When I use them, they are scoochies. They're just, but they're just like those. They're not rubber bands. They're glorified rubber bands. Black. Store brand tortilla chips are much better than Doritos, hands down. Eh, plain ones are. I agree. Flavor ones, Doritos are probably still the king. Jeff uh, disagrees about Hawkins cheesies, proclaiming them salty badness. We posted something, but then deleted. Uh, yeah, and I can see why he deleted it, because I don't, don't understand what he's talking about. Uh, Aaron says he will make a video if you mail him a Big Turk, or just mail him a box of Big Turks. Well, you guys with your Canadian in-jokes, I don't know what you're talking about. Finally, Mr. Heel 2, which means white bacon, still not going to tell me what he was talking about earlier. $2 Chester Puffs are my go-to cheesy puff snack. I'm not into those. But for Crunchy, it has to be Cheetos. Yes, except sometimes. Although I don't generally, regularly go to Menards, I was in one recently and was surprised to discover a pretty complete grocery section. Yeah, that's kind of popped up in the past couple of years. Milk, frozen pizza, canned goods all hidden in the back. But the snacks they still have at the impulse purchase area close to the register where they have a lot of candy and a lot of snacks and I hadn't seen this one before this party mix and again it's pretty good I would buy it again so the next time I'm in Menards fortunately I'm only in there about two or three times a year do people seriously grocery shop at Menards I have a feeling a certain type of man may grocery shop at Menards the type of man who is often at Menards and would see a grocery store trip as uh, a wasted stop. Wow, I made it. 12 minutes plus. So, I don't know. Should I try to play some music and we'll see if it blows up again? What I really should do is take these other eight videos and kind of string them together and see if you can just see me swearing every time it starts uh, engaging in USB conflicts. What I did do was I unplugged the camera from where it was and plugged it into a different port on a different USB deal. So, maybe that's what it was. It's not even worth it to try to make it bomb now, right? Although, oh, there it goes. Things are things are happening. All right, well, it's only because I've already gone so late. Let me start this thing, and in case it does decide to die, I will upload it from here, but I will say thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and you know how to reach me in all the usual places. Uh, that's me. So long. Oh, I know what it is.